Hi, I have classical guitar in my hands. It's a Yamaha CGTA. Uh, TA stands for transacoustic. So it's a four quarter size guitar. Um, it has scale length of 65 centimeters, not wide, 52 centimeters, uh, millimeters. Total length is 100 centimeters. Body length is 49 centimeters, body height is uh, 37 centimeters, and body depth is 10 centimeters. It has solid spruce top and oven core back and sides, which are not solid, so they are laminated. It has rosewood fingerboard and bridge. Um, it costs around 600 euros. Uh, the nice thing about this guitar is that it is, a, as I said, transacoustic. That means it has three uh, knobs on the upper side and you can also plug it in. So let's see how it sounds without transacoustic effects. Um, you can see that the transacoustic is not um, on because there is no light, LED light uh, shining inside. So this is the sound without transacoustic. And now I'm going to switch on transacoustic mode. You have to press the button for a few seconds. And then the green light goes on. Or red one, which is now flashing. That means that the battery is, uh, will be empty soon. So let's hear that transacoustic sound. I will switch on a reverb to maximum. So the first knob is for a reverb, the second one is for chorus, and the third one is for volume. But the volume knob is active only when it's plugged in, so unplugged it doesn't matter how it's set. So I have now reverb on 100% and chorus on 0%. Now let's set the reverb to 0% and chorus to 100%. Here, the guitar sounds a lot nicer and louder with trans acoustic uh, effects. You can also combine uh, trans acoustic effects. I have now uh, set reverb to 100% and chorus to about 10%. run out so the transacoustic sound is now gone okay that was guitar yamaha cgta transacoustic thanks bye